Despite being one of the biggest land animals, camels are docile animals that are pretty friendly with humans and they make really good pets. They can also easily carry an extra 200 pounds and can walk about 20 miles a day through the harsh desert climate. They were mainly active in North America around 10 million years ago, but their useful abilities allowed them to migrate and spread across the globe. In ancient times, merchants took camels through desert commercial roads, selling various goods to every corner of the world, making the goods flow faster and connecting different civilizations and cultures with each other. And in today's world, they have become a good partner for people who want to challenge themselves and go on adventures. But why not use horses, you may ask? They are much faster after all. That is absolutely true. A horse can walk up to 100 miles a day, which is five times what a camel could walk. But that's only true when it comes to traveling short distances. The average horse doesn't possess a fraction of the endurance that a camel does, not to mention that a camel walks on a broad pad that connects its two toes. This cushion-like pad spreads when the camel places its foot on the ground, and it supports it on loose sand in much the same way that a snowshoe helps a person walk on snow. A horse, on the other hand, would sink or quickly tire and possibly suffer from muscle soreness or injury. A camel can also endure hunger and thirst in a way that a horse simply can't. They can survive up to three weeks without water, and they can last and reproduce as well for several months without food. They can survive a 40% weight loss and then drink up to 32 gallons of water in one drinking session. The main secret behind a camel's ability to withstand hunger and thirst lies in its hump and stomach. A large amount of deposited fat is stored in the hump. If needed, this fat can be broken down into water and heat, which can be used for the camel's life activities. For each gram of fat that gets metabolized, 1.1 grams of water can be produced. A camel weighing 500 pounds has around 100 pounds of fat in its hump, which means that about 5,000 grams of water can be metabolized from it. If the fat inside the hump is used, it will become limp and droop down, but with proper food and rest, the hump will return to normal. That's how fascinating these creatures are, and that's why they're known as the ship of the desert. However, traveling across the desert, no matter how fun it may sound, is always a dangerous thing to do. In some deserts, not a single drop of water can be found, and without reference, it's really easy to lose your way. And although wild camels are very tolerant of hunger and thirst, and they know how to find water in the desert, camels raised in captivity are not as tough or as smart. They are always provided with enough food and water by their owners, and over time, these captive camels will lose their instinct to seek water and may die of thirst in the desert. If you happen to come across one of them, do not touch it. It will literally explode if you do. As mentioned earlier, there is a large amount of fat in the camel's hump, and when they die, these deposited fats remain in the hump, unable to carry out oxidative exercise, and there is no way for them to metabolize. Because of that, over time, these fats will be transformed into gases, such as methane. In addition, after the camel's death, the water in the stomach is not digested. It remains in the stomach, while the microorganisms in the stomach stay active. They slowly decompose and ferment into carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and other flammables. Combine that with long exposure to the hot desert sun, and you've got yourself an explosive. The camel's skin will become dry and fragile. The microorganisms in the body will rapidly multiply and ferment, creating more and more gases in the camel's carcass. The corpse will inflate into a bulging balloon that is bigger than any live camel. And as soon as you touch it, even lightly, the camel's carcass will explode immediately. The power of such an explosion should not be underestimated. If anyone happens to be nearby, they may be injured. And even if they don't, they will be covered in a nasty combination of gases and liquids. A lot of people mistakenly think that a camel's hump contains drinkable water, and when they encounter a dead camel in the desert, they will try to cut it open and drink the water from the hump if they're thirsty. 
What they don't know is that the camel's hump doesn't actually store drinkable water. It stores everything in the form of fat. And even if it did, you should never drink it. Even if the camel had just died, it will be full of bacteria and germs. And if you drink it, you will most likely contract a disease from it.